Well, a judge has decided to not rule today in a woman's fight to get her voter fraud charges dismissed. 53-year-old Michelle Spribling is one of 20 Floridians arrested last year for voting in the 2020 election. She's a felon who says she thought her rights were restored under Amendment 4. This is a story News 6 investigator Lewis Bolden has been following since the very beginning. He has the story. So we're here on um, the defense's motion to dismiss. 53-year-old Michelle Stribling said nothing in court as attorneys argued whether the charges against her for illegally voting in the 2020 election should be dismissed. Your Honor, I've raised a motion um, under the motion to dismiss if they lack jurisdiction to prosecute this case. After the arrests, judges around the state have dismissed six of the cases based on jurisdiction, including Peter Washington's of Pine Hills. In Washington's case, Judge Jennifer Harris wrote, the Office of Statewide Prosecution does not have the authority to prosecute this matter. By statute, in order for the statewide to have jurisdiction, the crime had to have happened in two different jurisdictions. After the dismissals, the legislature changed the law to give the statewide prosecutor jurisdiction, something Judge Diego Madrigal was aware of. Uh, let me oh, spade to spade, there's courts around the state that were dismissing these cases uh, based on the similar argument that Mr. Whedon's making, right? That That's what was occurred. happening and they changed the law. Yes, sir, that, that, right. that had occurred. Right. My overall argument then is that that has made um, the matter easier, I would submit to the court, for the state. Stribling's attorney, Roger Whedon, disagreed. They have to show, they have to allege in their information that there was an actual impact on the election. Stribling said nothing during the hearing, but I interviewed her shortly after her arrest, and she maintained she thought her voting rights had been restored. This is a misunderstanding. I didn't mean no harm about this. Judge Madrigal said he will be issuing a written ruling. As soon as he does, we will let you know. Getting results, I'm Lewis Bolden, News 6. Now, this is a story Lewis has been covering extensively. He also put together a three-part series on Peter Washington's case. It's called I Voted and Got Arrested. Go to Click Orlando News 6 YouTube page and hit playlists to find it.